as, a, as the audience to look at these different systems and ask, you know, how? Because for me, I'd like to have a farm called Half Pessex, which uh, um, sort of sort of integrates the two, and that's secretly why I uh, lured them down here. Um, so yeah, those things I think need to get turned on. And <laughs> that's currently my farm operation. Um, does anyone have a, a burning question that they want to ask both farms? Anybody? Okay, up front here. How do you test and build your soil? At, at this point, we don't test or build our soil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, well, we, we do test the soil. Um, we're required by the uh, uh, landowners, the Intervale Center, to test every year. Um, I don't know what they're looking for in the test that we send to them, but we do, it, uh, do send them uh, every year. What we're looking for is, uh, um, we've gone through the various uh, soil analysis experts, just out of curiosity, people that we've run into at uh, the PASA conference and uh, talked with, um, and we sort of have come to the conclusion that the soil is pretty good. And, um, and so, <laughs> so um, what, what we do is, this is part of the thing where I was saying, well, maybe we're not great farmers, we're not as in tune with the soil as perhaps one would envision uh, oneself to be when they became a farmer, but um, we do, every year we do add some compost to the soil. We do have an Intervale compost center, um, compost products uh, right, right up the road, so we sometimes buy it from them. We uh, also sometimes buy it from a different uh, compost uh, maker just to keep things interesting. Um, we also do add uh, bulk uh, organic fertilizers that we order every every spring, so um, we go through NOFA Vermont, uh, Northeast Organic Farmers Association, we do a bulk order with them. So we invest probably about $2,000 back into our acre uh, every year uh, with that stuff. Um, it's mostly we're willing to spend the money on it um, because we haven't spent the time to figure out how to do a great uh, cover crop, uh, legume, rotation thing. Uh, we're working on that. Um, and maybe doing the chickens and other animals and doing now we've expanded to this gigantic two acre format uh, we may be able to take some land out of production and do more rotation cover cropping stuff like that part of our work but according to the tests we haven't hurt the soil too much um, we haven't we've actually improved it uh, I should say um, but uh, we think that the soil, instead of focusing on building a system that was very soil focused, we built our system that was very business focused, and I think the soil was able to survive that better than our pocket would have been had we reversed the situation and focused on the soil and not on the business. So that's my theory on it. Good question. <laughs> 